Hello, my name is Isaac Gottlieb. Um, this is an example of uh, what I teach in the Excel workshop at Fox Business School of Temple University and some of the other operations management classes. This is an example of a logistics problem or supply chain management problem where you want to optimize the location or find the best location where to place your plant in a certain country to minimize your cost. The problem was brought up in one of the uh, operations management classes where a student from China wanted to know where to place the plant she worked for in order to minimize the cost. And this is the Chinese map of course. And well, the information that she brought to class was the following. Uh, they have seven different locations in China and for example Xi'an has an annual demand of 500 tons and shipping one ton per kilometer to Xi'an is about 1.9 RMB the equivalent of about 30 cents US and these are the other six locations that she has to ship to from the plant so one of the things she, she had to do is uh, set up the coordinates of the different locations. For example, Xi'an is 2,025 kilometers going east from that imaginary plant that we have now at 00. 00, zero, zero is the current plant. Of course, this is going to be prohibitive and expensive. <coughs> and if you look at uh, Beijing on the map, it's on the 2350 on the x-axis and 1000 on the y-axis going from the plant 00 uh, you have to travel 2350 miles or kilometers east and 1000 kilometers north of course what we will have to calculate is the aerial distance using the Pythagorean Low. So to explain how it's going to work, for example, Beijing is 2,553 kilometers away from zero zero, taking a straight line, an aerial line. Of course, you can use, you can add about 25% for the infrastructure. So what we have to do is we have to calculate the distance of all these locations from the plant. So going back to Excel you can see how we can calculate for example uh, the distance of Xi'an from 00. zero. If you notice C9 and D9 are absolutely addressed so that we can calculate it for the other six locations. So in this case for Xi'an it's 2025 minus 0 square plus 675 minus 0 square and then you take the square root of it and the distance of Xi'an from the plant currently is 2135 kilometers and we can calculate it for all the other locations. Once you calculate the location, once you calculate the distances, uh, you can calculate the cost. So, for example, shipping from that uh, point zero zero, which is in India, to Xi'an would be very costly. It would be equal to the distance times the weight times the cost. So it would be two thousand. 2 million and 27,000 over 350,000 US dollars and if you calculate it for the rest of them you will find out that it's a very costly proposition. If you calculate the sum of all these shipments it's going to be 9,172,000 RMB which is about uh, one and a half million dollars. Of course if you change it to any location within the territory of uh, China, let's say 500, you already reduced the cost to be 6 million 
800,000 RMB, which is about uh, $1.2 million or $1.1 million, which is 30% lower than the initial cost. Uh, what you can do using Excel is use the solver. A solver is a tool that minimizes the cost. And if you go to data, click on solver, of course you select as the objective to be H9. And the changing cells are the two, sorry, H9. And the changing cells for the solution are going to be these two. And Excel is going to determine where is the optimal solution, where is the location of the plant that is going to minimize the cost of shipping to all these destinations, this distance and the weight and cost. So if you solve it, you're going to discover that the optimal solution is 2,075 and 690, very close to Xi'an, about 50 kilometers away from Xi'an. And if you notice, the optimal cost is much, much lower than the initial solution or the initial setup, which was over 9 million RMB. Now we are down to about $300,000 or 1.8 million RMB. Of course, you can't always look at the solution because if you try that solution uh, you may discover that sometimes the plant should be in the middle of a lake or in the middle of a desert and you really want to move it away to a better location but what you want to do using Excel is maybe visualize the solution and see what would happen if you change the attributes or the coordinates and see what is the impact of the uh, cost. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a chart, a scatter chart XY, that is going to show us all these locations. This is basically where all the different locations are. I'm going to remove the YN and YN. And this, for example, if you hover over it, it's 2,350 and 1,000 representing Beijing. This one, 2,025 and 675 represents Xi'an. And this is our plant, which is difficult to hover over because it's difficult. So what we're going to do is maybe first move it to a place, place where we can see or identify the plant. I'm going to go back to 500. And this is where my plant is. Of course, my cost went up again to about 6 million RMB. And this is the plant. What we want to do is we want to mark the plant. So first click selects all the locations. Second click the individual. Then I can right click and format the data point. And right now what I'm going to do is change maybe the color to be red and maybe make it larger so that I can identify the plant as I move it around. So this is my plant and what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve using the solver again and bring it to where the optimal solution should be. Data, solver, solve. And again you see it's right next to Xi'an. What you want to do is you want to start moving the plant and see where it's going to fall. A nice thing to do is to take that map, copy it or maybe cut it, doesn't make any difference. First click on the background, right click and say format, plot area, go to picture, clipboard, and then you can see where the plant is, it's not exactly next to Xi'an. I think what we have to do is maybe... Uh, oh, it is next to Xi'an. Okay, so this is my plant and this is Xi'an and this is where all the different locations are. Maybe we should move Xi'an down to be exactly where Xi'an is on the map. To do that, you can right-click here, format, 
right click on the axis and maybe change it to get the right proportion uh, bring it up to 1600 so now you see Xi'an is exactly where Xi'an is Beijing is exactly where she, Beijing is and this is how you can really adjust the map so that all the locations that you have on the Excel spreadsheets correspond exactly to where the cities are on the map. The next thing I want to do is I want to move the attributes or move the CD plant around. The way I'm going to do it, I'm going to go to the developer. You can install the developer using options and use the scroll bar. The scroll bar was actually created to control forms but what we are going to do is we are going to use it to change or move around the plant so I'm going to draw a scroll bar that is going to control the x-axis and maybe I'm going to also install another scroll bar that is going to control the y-axis and this is how I'm going to use it right click format control the current value of the x-axis for the plant is about 2700 I'm going to try and make it a nice round number of 2100 go from 0 to about 3000 this is the highest value that I have on the map with increments of 100 and of course this is what I want to control so I'm um, current value is going to be 2100 I will be able to move the plant around using the uh, scroll bar from 0 to 3000 with increments of uh, 100 and look what happens if you click the plant is moving around and note how the price is changing here so I can move the plant around and uh, let management decide where they want the plant to be and they can also look and see what would be the impact of doing so on the cost we can do the same thing for the y-axis right click format control currently it's around uh, 700 and again I'm going to use from 0 to 3000 increments of 100 and uh, change the location of the plant so now this one is going to go north south so this is a very nice tool for presentation after you solve the problem using Excel after you solve the problem with the solver you can do your sensitivity analysis and find out where to place the plant and that's a very nice tool for presentations we can com complicate the problem but uh, for presentation purposes I decided to keep it very simple just to show you that uh, if you want you can use a data table and create what you see here which is a uh, surface chart which shows you the cost of moving away from Xi'an. Xi'an is actually the optimal solution down here and as you move away it uh, the price increases exponentially. If you want to know how to do it by yourself you can always send me an email to my email address that you see here Isaac G at temple.edu and I can send you the Excel file and a short explanation you can also read it in my book actually it's the last chapter or the appendix that of my new book that you see here next generation excel thank you